psychology is the study of how people think, how they influence and how they relate to others. Now, social psychologists, they study broad arrays of problems and topics such as uh, attitude, aggression, social comparison, risk taking, memories, gender issues, close relationships, and also health problems. Social psychology is an empirically oriented field with a strong theoretical foundation. The interaction between pilots in the cockpit it's a major consideration because they relate to the safety of the aircraft. When you talk about social interaction, in a cockpit, you are going to talk about teamwork. Within a teamwork, you are going to talk about communication. There's going to be communication. There's going to be topic about leadership, right? And all of these other topics about social interaction is, is really important for a set of crew be able to solve the problems and to, to make decisions like in time decisions, in form decisions. Now, all the social interaction in the cockpit actually relates to the safety of the flight. There's a lot of incidents or accidents that actually resulted because of the social interaction within the cockpit environment is degraded or it's not good. There are also threat and errors that's coming into the cockpit that has to be subdued. Culturally speaking, most Anglo cultures subscribe to the belief that all men are created equal and that individuals are accountable for their own success and failures. In a cockpit, Anglo pilots see the elevated relationship between the captain and the co-pilots or first officer is just a temporary distinction between the individuals because in other time they will be equals. But in a cockpit, it's just a temporary distinction between each individual. Anglo pilots, they prefer leaders who consult with them prior in making decisions. And they prefer leaders who treat them as equals. Now the world view of the Anglo pilots is guided by linear thinking. They derive from strong belief in science, rationalism, empiricism, and uh, they prefer directs emotion-free communications in the workplace. They also believe that every individual has the right to logically question anything and anyone. Everybody who are unsure of what's happening in the workplace are expected to seek out the necessary information. It's the same as individuals who disagree with something are expected to raise a question or a challenge about the disagreement. Which means that for a junior crew or a junior co-pilot to speak out, it's okay because they endorse the right and responsibilities associated with that individual autonomy. Not every culture has the same understanding of of equality. There are some cultures that proceed from an understanding that people are not created equals. There is a relational hierarchies 
that dictates everyone's place. For example, in the family, in the clan, in the tribes, at the work, in the organization, or even in the society. Now, it is still each person's responsibility to understand and accept his role or her role within a natural order. Okay, now, our communications in the cockpit or in the workplace is influenced by these hierarchical relationships. In other words, communication may be necessary in order to honor relationships and maintain group harmony. Now, the relationship between the captain and the co-pilots for many of these non-individualistic cultures is highly respected. The legitimate differences between the superior and the subordinate is highly regarded. Now, because there are differences in the cultures between pilots all around the world, now pilots have to learn to appreciate other cultural systems. While the Anglo culture value that all people are created equal, it is obvious that not everybody values the same thing. These differences is actually embedded genetically, intelligently, and it's been there for centuries. We can still benefit from these different cultures. We just have to look for consistency in the system. We have to look the consistency of the pilot's job. Like for example, most Asian country, especially Indonesia, is considered to have a high power distance culture where inequalities between leaders and subordinates is expected and accepted. So countries like Indonesia or most Southeast Asian country clearly reflect this hierarchical system. Not only do the captains endorse these items very strongly, but the first officer also endorses these strong views of the privileges of seniority. So it's not only the captain that thinks that way, but the first officer only endorses that because they will in the future be the captain as well. Now, in these countries, one expects to see the captain as the unquestioned leader. Indonesia is considered as a collectivist culture where harmony of relationship and deference to senior figures is expected. A respect to more senior pilots within that company or that organization is expected. The culture endorses modest self-presentation. You have to be humble. And they frown upon a personal grandeur a personal achievement. The Indonesian like to do everything together as a group instead of individual. In the face honoring tradition such as Indonesia, the younger first officer or the junior first officer usually show respect for the senior officer by a lot of time agreeing and saying yes to the senior pilots and they treat the senior pilots like they actually deserve the extra benefits. Now in those airlines where pilots value equalities, we can anticipate greater tolerance for being assertive, especially assertive from the junior crew. However, those airlines where hierarchical structures is endorsed, we can anticipate a more 
hierarchical command structures and a more top-down communication more aggressive communications between the pilots in the cockpit can you imagine the frustrations if there is a multicultural crew in the company now the anglo captain might misunderstood the asian first officer respectful silence as a non-participation you keep quiet that means he doesn't want to work now, the asian captain will misunderstood the anglo first officer as rude and lack of respect now multicultural crews become more common with the rapid expansion of commercial aviation more attention must be given to understand the cultural differences this is a way of reducing the uncertainty in the cockpit i think humans are human that humans don't change a lot over a period of time so there are things that has been embedded in us so that's genetically we are born like that that's how human interact so what we need to rise is those issues are going to be there we're going to be there until the end of time so if that's going to affect how we work in the cockpit, all pilots need to be aware that social issues will rise in the cockpit. It doesn't matter. You can fly with a really nice captain or really nice co-pilot. No humans are the same, basically. When you wake up in the morning, there's going to be things that's going to affect you before you come into the cockpit. I'm not saying that we as a human should change ourselves to suit the person that we work with. However, at least understand that even though you want it to be equal, that other person, no other person is the same. Your relationship will be affected by those differences. Right? And those differences could mean whether a flight will be safe or not safe.